Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Carlson from the Riverside Animal Clinic doing custom holistic testing analysis for case number 00414, seven year old Bichon mix. I've had a hitch, uh, history of itching and coming and going, um, no current symptoms. But if we look at the current analysis, we see that there's weakness at the adrenal, which is represented by TW1, and stress at the pancreas and skin. In, in comparison to our March 2015 test, the first column here, we did have allergy stress, we had controlled stress of the circulation, and also uh, ear lymphatic drainage, which had had some ear problems. You can see that these have balanced out and gone back to normal. The lymphatic drainage of the teeth and jaw and also drainage of the nose and paranasal sinus we had weakness, but that came back to correction here. We see that we didn't see much change in the endocrine function for the pancreas, which uh, is represented by 56 here and 56 here. Uh, the pancreas does have exocrine or digestive function as well as endocrine function, so quick to point out that it could be either or, as I'll discuss earlier here. Uh, the governing vessel was stressed and that went back to normal, but we see that the three main areas right now are going to be adrenal, pancreas, and skin. And the sensory function is represented by the five senses, taste, touch, uh, feel, certainly smell, and, and sight. The pituitary and pineal gland pick up the sensory information and send it to the adrenal gland for fight or flight information, the thyroid for metabolic information, and the endocrine pancreas for insulin. So if we see that adrenal and pancreatic stress, that's two out of the four things in the endocrine network that can lead to thin skin and that becomes more sensitized. Uh, also the lung and its exposure to inhalants. Uh, I should mention the GI tract as well. If we're exposed to anything by mouth, uh, can they have a, a direct effect on the skin uh, as well? So sensitivities on the sensitivity report did show that we did have animal hair and feathers, which is common in pet bedding and our bedding as well, especially uh, if she likes to lay on the bed where there's feather, um, as far as goose down, feather pillows, etc. Grasses and inhalants certainly affect the lung. And then we did see uh, fish and shellfish as well as supplements that would be part of the GI tract. So in order to help the skin ultimately, we got to go back to something that we would normally think that the skin would be allergenic, you know, and have seasonal allergies. But these are just sensitivities. And the difference is that allergy is a continual breakout of something they were exposed to earlier. But as we see with the, the sensitivity testing and also our IHT testing is that there was no allergies on this analysis. The second thing is that uh, indirect effect from the adrenal and pancreas can have an effect on the skin. So if we're balancing these out using a product called DrainPAR, DrainPAR We've been on this before for other sensitivities because we want to reuse that but also infuse for these three areas, the adrenal, pancreas, and skin. The second thing is that we want to help the immune system and so we're going to use a product called Wei Chi Booster to balance the immune response as well. And then finally we can consider using a couple of things. One is B12 to help the sensory function. Uh, the other thing is that we can use uh, a product uh, that would be related to Shen Calmer to help uh, soothe some of the sensory response that we might see with the adrenal gland or Ramani 11, really, those two things uh, we could add on to the list as well. Uh, I look forward to helping Maggie. This is a continuation of a number of tests that we've done, and she's done quite well. Uh, by continuing to keep your condition, we're going to see her live well and, not, and reduce her symptoms over time. Thank you very much.